Intonation is a critical issue with the flute, particularly when we're playing with other instruments. Of course, when we're on our own, we're the reference, so nobody's going to blame us too much, and the difference between a note that's too sharp and a note that's too flat within the range of the flute is not going to be so obvious and so blatant as if we're playing with a piano or with other instruments. For instance, clar clarinet or bassoon have a tendency to go sharper when you go softer. On the flutes, it, the tendency would rather be the opposite. Same thing in the forte. Clarinet and bassoon would rather go lower and then the flute would go sharper. Now this is because we use probably too much tension. When we want to play louder, we go excited and we play more tense and more dramatic, more vibrato, more pressure. And the, the more we go this way, the sharper it's going to get. This is happening if we're just using more tension on the lips in order to play crescendo and getting more excited, more vibrant about it. We use more, more vibrato, then it becomes sharper, it goes more tense, the focus of the tone is less, and there's more side noise coming here from the head joint. And then when we go diminuendo, the sound is going to go, oh, going to fall down because of the pressure falling down. In order to be in tune on one note, we need a constant pressure, whether we're playing soft or loudly. What makes the difference between loud and soft is the amount of air. So there again, the pressure is, has to do with the speed of the air, and the amount of air has to do with the opening, with the quantity, with how much air, how big is, gonna, is the sound going to be. When it's thin, then it's going to be piano, and when it's broad, it's going to be forte. So we go. Very thin in the beginning, and then I'll go crescendo. But this is not, hap not happening essentially with the lips. The lips are there to control, to shape the sound, to make sure that the airstream is going to hit the front wall of the head joint in a way to make a proper, decent sound. And no noise here, so that we don't spill the air all over the place. If we go tense in the crescendo, this is what, what's going to happen. The sound and the intonation suffer both from that. We are the ones playing in tune. It's not the instrument playing in tune or not in tune. So therefore, position your air support in the right way. And each note has a different support, but all of them are centered here. If you're in tune and you, by thinking the right setup in your head, and for this you have to investigate and play all these notes slowly for you by playing daily, and I mean it, daily. It's a very important thing to start with these very slow chromatic scales so that you find the center of each note. It takes about 10 minutes to go throughout the range of the flute, not even, and you go very slowly, starting from middle G, going down. De la sonorité by Marcel Moïse. Now, a very important thing to practice also are scales and arpeggios. I recommend to use Tafanel and Gobert scales because they go up and down within the key, the, key, the key that you're working on. And on this scale, on the base of this scale, this is Stefanel and Gobert daily, again, daily exercise, exercice journalier. A very important book that we can really put next to our bed and, and, and learn from it every night during our sleep. We, have, we find also other exercises with different intervals. It's a different approach. On every note of your scale, you're going to play all the possible chords based on three notes that have this note within the chord. And therefore, you're going to be able to learn about all arpeggios as you will be 
finding them in the music later on because Bach, Handel, Telemann, Mozart, Beethoven, further any composer up to Poulenc and Prokofiev, they're all scale, they're all using scales and arpeggios in their music. When you play arpeggios going up and down and then scales with broken arpeggios in the beginning in very different rhythms. This is something very important, practice scales using different rhythms. Michel de Bost has published a book. I was studying with him for three years in the Paris Conservatoire and I've learned a lot from his musicianship and also all his thoughts about the flute playing. And he's published a book which has been released in French and in English and I think also now in Japanese where he lists in an exercise book next to it, all variants, I think there are 60 of them, for each scale um, by Tafanel and Goubert. Starting from the lower B, minor, then B major, then C minor, C major, etc. You walk your way through all kind of scales and articulations and dynamic and tempos, combination of rhythms, using triple tonguing, single tonguing, double tonguing, whatever, um, complications basically. And every day you start shifting these exercises by one scale, so that you never practice the same. It takes 60 days to go all around, the, all around this exercise book. And it will take like typically 20 to 25 minutes to go with all kinds of articulations and dynamics and keys throughout the range of the flute every day on a daily basis. You'll really learn a lot and you're prepared to face any kind of situation then in the music. Another exercise that I like to practice daily also, it belongs also to the daily exercises by Mathieu André Reichardt, and it's number four. It goes like this. I like this exercise because it goes around and with lots of curves within one key and goes up and then down again. It's very expressive and very, um, I would say, it's exemplary for any kind of situation that you will find in the music later on. When you, when you play, for instance, Brahms' clarinet sonata in E-flat major, All of this you can find in etc. etc. All of this is already there in Mathieu André Reichert. So using Marcel Moïse de la Sonorité, chromatic scale from the middle G, first down and then up, to, to, down to the lowest note that you have on the flute, either a C or a B, up to the D. Same thing then with the scales by Tafanel and Gobert, using the De Bost variants and all these uh, rhythmical, melodic and dynamic complications in there. You will be practicing every single possibility and manner to playing, of playing the flute. Then the arpeggios by Tafanel and Gobert, and then the daily exercise number four by Mathieu André Reichert. This, these are the four basics that will be serving and helping you in any kind of situation in the musical world, in your musical life.